All right, so basically what you have here, assuming we're in a galactic core burst, watch your nose bear, you don't want to burn it on Sagittarius A. Okay, uh, oh, I don't know how well this, this is gonna work. Sagittarius A, center of the galaxy, black hole, numerous black holes around it. And you all know the story of CG2, right? Which stands for gas cloud two. Not to imply that it's necessarily just the glass cloud. Okay, galactic core burst. You guys get the picture. Just to bring you up to date, we'll we'll we'll, <clears throat> we'll put links there for you who have no clue. <clears throat> so we're assuming some. If we're gonna go with scenario one, and uh, everything went into CG into Sagittarius say, and we're in a minor galactic core burst event which of course means first you're the plane of the galaxy your accretion disk Cindy don't 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 step on the Milky Way okay honey okay so first you get that going out that's that's your first wave okay and then assuming you get enough to go into a uh, sufficient seafrit state so Oops, ah, there we go, sorry. There's, there's our center, right? Galactic plane. So you get, coming out on your accretion disk, you get this um, gravitational wave and this burst of energy coming out of the Seifert state, right? Here's our Seifert state, right? We got jet coming out there and out there. And an accretion bubble. Okay, now these keep expanding out. Your first wave is your accretion disk building up okay and then once it sets up enough of a field and goes see for it you get your accretion bubble which keeps expanding out and following the disk <clears throat> now eventually your see for it, your synchrotron runs out of in this case CG2 material that it's swallowing and your jets start to collapse Okay, so through each of these, there was a charge induced throughout the whole circuit, a charge differential, which of course affects everything around it, because energy seeks a balance, and mass seeks to a mass, okay? So you get your first um, pulse, there's four, okay? You get your second when the accretion bubble is building, now the accretion bubble the, the jets shut off, the synchrotron shuts off, the gas bubble dissolves, collapses actually, and just like in, not just like, not unlike the way you get spark out of a coil to set your ignition going, on each change of state you get a field collapse and you get induction into any different bodies in an electric universe. Um, or should be saying electromagnetic gravito universe. <clears throat> okay, so you get that collapsing. Is your third wave? Okay, and then you get, which we apparently under this scenario had the last uh, what about ten days ago. That was our third wave, which was the collapse of this accretion bubble, and. Um, We'll, we'll, we'll get to what we're actually looking at to base this um, wild pie I guess on. Okay, and then where we're at now, when the fourth wave comes as the accretion disk resulting from the Seifert state collapses, that's when you get the biggest one. And of course, uh, if this is Earth, as we've said before, and uh, this is... The local interstellar cloud, it can flip onto the other side of the Earth, causing that same, we'll just call it a electromagnetic pulse, an EMP for short. And those fields collapsing thingy, that Thor's hammer that, it, that we just went through four times on the galaxy. Okay, so. You get that abrading, it can push particles in through the astrosphere and pollute it with all this stardust. 
and cause havoc, havoc, cause Ragnarok basically. Now we, Ragnarok, there, follow that link. Okay, we've been through all this. <clears throat> so you get this cosmic pushback. And it basically stalls all the winds coming off the sun. And it's, you know it's going to do its thing and push out whatever, a CME, or uh, build up to a CME on the surface, or a uh, coronal hole. Whatever its emissions are going to, basically they're going to saturate the coronal spear and the photosphere and build up for this when two fields collapse thing, right? This Thor's hammer. Okay. <clears throat> So assuming we're in the fourth state now, which would explain the stalled solar wind, when it lets go, now all that pent up comes screeching out. Okay, now, a screeching out of the sun, right, where the highly charged mass. Now, if there happens to be CMEs built up, like you saw, where did all these fucking CMEs all of a sudden come from? Well, there you go. Okay, now they want to get out in a hurry. Uh, so... Expecting this over the next few days to happen. What can I say? Carrington advisory get watch those sunspots anything earth directed filaments coronal holes now what I've just described to you we may in fact it may be such a small galactic core burst that none of this is happening and it's not going see for fate state well I shouldn't say none of it happening only a little bit of influence is happening along the galactic plane which would act just similar to the carrying effect, the conductive effect of a full accretion disk. Your galactic plane is awfully similar, right? I mean, that's basically what it is, only it's so full of mass and energy that it never really shuts off. <clears throat> Again, that's a form of holy comforter in the traditional sense of the word. So, assuming whatever came out of the cloud is causing, a CG2 cloud is causing this at the galactic center, uh, whether we're on the fourth wave or a fourth inclusion from the contents of CG2 going into the black hole, Sagittarius A. Uh, don't know. Very hard to look. Um, and astronomy doesn't really look... It's pretty hard to get time on. Hypotheses that are so far-reaching that nobody wants to know. Because they lack imagination as to what you can do about it. If it is, in fact, going on. Yeah. Same attitude that got dinosaurs extinct, I'm sure. Uh, now I'm gonna I'm gonna do some real stretching here, and I'm telling you what's gonna happen. All of those nukes you got buried got stashed around Israel. You guys are the next one to lose a lot of your comforter strength, just like you've seen happen in China. And granted, they brought a lot of it on themselves with their own meddling and pollution and. Weather modification. You see it happening happening in Ukraine. And well, I'm just gonna make a little f further joke here for you, and say uh, that's where relays zero. That's where they were named from, because of what's under the ground there. So. Um,
the system fails, however you want to look at it. That's... <clears throat> if you got your nukes configured for criticality, you can expect the same kind of problems that the... <clears throat> oh, I can't even say the word now. Off Fukushima there. All that business that went on in March 2011. There was cosmic weather at play. Okay. Just the fact they wiped the fucking proof out within two months. Tells you that they're not ignorant of it. Hey guys, should we head her out? Okay. But, you know, surely your official denials that you even have such illegal weapons as nuclear warheads, Israel will deny reality. Doesn't matter, I don't care. Because I'm just fucking telling you because that was my job. That's, that's my liability and my responsibility. Block it. Let it through. I don't give a fuck. Well, I do, but I, I can't be bothered giving a fuck because that's out of my control. What is my control is to try my best to tell what I... understand is a very dangerous situation and I've done that consistently and uh, I've done what I can through fact and fiction to try and get other people to look that can look and some of them have great you tried all right I'll just say history fucking repeats itself, okay? And you go and you go and you read Maratna The Great War of the Past in Hindu text. Maratna Patna ah, fuck whatever. I'm in, I'm having a rough time here. So anyhow, you you go read that and you actually study it, Mr. Israeli scholar. And you tell me what the fuck was really going on there, okay? Do, do look at the evidence. You tell me why their nukes were reportedly started blowing up, they couldn't figure it out, and they started a war. Just like it says in Dr. Tom's boring story. I'll see if I can find the episode. Uh, reload it. I don't know why. Untangle all the tamper, and I'll put it there. Right. Do what you want. It's not on my dime, and it's not on my conscience because I did what I what I could.